PSA uh, video contest. This year was cool because not only did we have the contest for high school kids, but also this year we added a college category. So we had more participation this year than we've ever had with 40 entries. And they were all really good. It made it much more difficult for the judges. I know when they started pouring in at the last minute, we all were excited, but we were also a little nervous about what we had to, <laughs> what the judges were going to have to do in terms of work um, to judge these. And it was a tough job because there's really a lot of talented high school and college kids that participated. The thing for me that's so wonderful about this is it's so inspiring for Neil and I who work in this every day and for Kelly, our outreach coordinator, and for Tracy, our education director, to see the concern that kids have for the river and to see the time and effort that they put into this to make to really do the best job that they could to help raise awareness about the river. I always like to say that our youth are the ones that have the most at stake in the decisions that are being made about the future of the river. And yet the youth are not at the table where those decisions are being made. This contest, we hope, gives our youth a platform, gives them an opportunity to have a voice. And actually that was the theme of this year's contest, was a voice for the river. And we think that they shouted their voice loud and clear, and hopefully it was heard by many, that they love the river, they want to see it protected, and that they are going to be active participants in the future in making sure that our river is protected. So I want to thank all the kids that participated and thank all of our win the winners who are here today. Thank you for coming out. Um, we also want to thank Jeff Walter for coming out today. Jeff is representing the Downtown Council of the Chamber of Commerce. They were one of our sponsors. And also thanks to Tr Tracy Collins for here representing uh, Jacksonville.com for being a sponsor. And as all of the participants know, they have to upload their videos to the Jacksonville.com website. So thank you. Did you, would you like to say anything, Jeff? I just want to say that uh, the Downtown Council fully supports Riverkeeper. And we love to see something like this come out. And it just makes it so much worthwhile to just keep on doing what we want for you guys every year. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. We appreciate your support. And so do the kids that participated. Because uh, this year we were able to add a college category thanks to the Downtown Council's um, support. So thank you so much. Neil, you want to say a couple words before we introduce the kids? Well, I just want to say to all those students and young people who prepared videos, thank you. Uh, as Jimmy said, the future of the river is in their hands. I think it's important that they speak to their peers, help them understand that the future of the river is in their hands. And the videos were great. Uh, I am always amazed at the quality of, of the product that these students put together. So again, on behalf of St. John's Riverkeeper, uh, we hope these PSAs will not only reach young people, but all of us to make sure people understand when we take care of this river, it's the best thing for us. So congratulations to all of the members. For you, a division, and someone who's no stranger to us, our college winner this year is Andy Leverett. Some moments in my life I will never forget. When I was seven, I got my first fishing boat. Seventeen, I bought my first boat. Thirty-seven, I had the job I loved most. Remember the things you love about the St. John's River. Cherish them. It may not be the same tomorrow. Sometimes kids can say it much better than Neil and I can or Tracy in really inspiring the community to get involved because that's what it's going to take is for all of us to participate. So I thank the students for doing your part by participating in this contest because you've done a lot, you really have, by participating in this to help people understand that our river's threatened and it needs to be protected and we can't forget about that. So thank you so much. Thanks, y'all.